Hi, kittens. Hi, Simon. Oh, bye, Lola. It's been fun. trying to get through this all week but it's just been busy I mean it's the beginning of school anyways but blogging is actually picking up which is great don't get me wrong but that means you work all day and you come home and you work all night but I mean both jobs are great so it could be a lot worse but I wanted to I thought it'd be cool if I shared some of the background ideas that I use for the different blog posts um, I've, I'm pretty cheap I mean, if you're my blog, you know that I'm pretty cheap, so I don't want to spend a lot of money on all these different backgrounds or like expensive photographs or anything like that. Um, so I've kind of found a way to make all of my own backdrops mm -hmm, that boy. work out pretty well for what I'm doing so far. And the more yeah. I find whenever I'm at the store and I see a contact paper or fabric or something like that that I think would be really great and it's kind of neutral, then I pick it up and I make it work. And I'm actually going to be playing with okay. next, taking photographs, getting those blown up as big as I can at like Costco, and then mounting those on a poster board, which I'll show you, and seeing if those can be some fun ideas for backdrops as well. And then you can design things with Hickmonkey and blah, blah, blah. It, the possibilities are endless. So that's in the future. But for now, I thought, since I just finished up a sponsored post, that I could share some of the ways that I make the backdrops work. And some of the stuff I learned from one of those, um, from Social Fabric, I'm in Social Fabric, so they have a food photography course, which gave a lot of great ideas for the basic person to make their photos a lot better. Things like bouncing light and where your light should be versus where your white um, balance, or the white sheet that bounces the light back should be and where you should take the photo, which direction, blah, blah, blah. So if you're not in Social Fabric, um, I'm sure there's a lot of blog posts, but if you are on social fabric, there is a food photography course, which is awesome. And even if you're just anybody who has like an Etsy shop or anything like that, mm -hmm. these ideas can work for any of that. So, I don't know, I hope it helps. So anyways, um, first, this is one that I built out of wood because I'm always building something out of wood because what else do you when you have a saw and stuff? But, so this one's made out of wood. Interestingly, it's actually from Avery's birthday party, her walk the plank from her parrot birthday party. And so I just nailed this board and there's nails in each one all the way across to connect it on the top and the bottom. And then there's these two pieces that help it stand up. These are actually what this board stood on at her birthday party. And so now it's a backdrop. So I can either put like my iced tea in front of it, or I can use it to tape different, um, I can tape wrapping papers that are cute, or any type of fabric can just be draped over it. So it can just be a base, or it can actually be what I photograph in front of, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then over here, in my corner, I have all of these poster boards. I like Michelle. to keep Michelle. one side white so that I can bounce the light or whatever, but then, um, and as you can see, I mean, bring this up here. As you can see, these have like been through some, some things. Like they're not, they don't have to be, whatever. I pick them up at the dollar store, but they don't have ones that are this thick at the dollar store. Um, I got these from my in-laws when they were moving and hey, it's free, I'll take it. So um, I found this shelf paper and I just put a sheet across it and then I can either sit things on it with a white one on the side, uh, bouncing the light back, or I can prop it up against that guy, like that. So there's possibilities. So I found this cute kind of like scalloped one, and then I have light wood, and of course if you've if you see my blog and you've seen the background is Great Chevron, I would have to have the Great Chevron one as well. Because why not? And then probably one of my favorites is the one I can't find. Where'd it go? <laughs> okay, one of my favorites is the dark wood. 
one. And there's also just contact paper on the poster board. And I don't know where it is, which is kind of ridiculous because I literally just used it for a sponsored post. So... Yeah, that's gonna bother me. Um, let's check back over. Oh! I know what happened. The light one is also the dark one. My bad. Yeah, Scotty? What's up? In a little bit? Right. Okay. Sound good? Good. Okay. Because he always wants a snack. Because he dances more than anybody I know. And so he's always hungry. We gotta do. So, those are my little backdrops. And um, I'll put, I'll plug in into this video some of the posts. Like some pictures from some posts so you can kind of see how they look. And like in action. And I think that's it. I think I just wanted to share a couple of ideas on how to make your pictures better. If you're just taking pictures or if you're blogging and or if you're having an Etsy shop or whatever. So um, I hope it helped. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right? Bye. Thanks. <laughs>